Oh boy, guys, I made a big boo-boo. Um, I thought I had filmed a whole section, and in reality, I clicked the uh, picture icon, so I got one picture and no video. <laughs> okay. So I'll kind of have to fill you in on what I've done. So let's start. I got a book, a white book, cut the guts out, used my black paint to paint it in. I didn't want it perfect. I wanted it kind of all grungy looking. Um, if you remember the cover to this, it was very shiny. Um, I took some, um, I'll show you the difference, see how bright. The original well it doesn't show that much on the monitor, but here live it does look a big difference. But I took a sandpaper to this and sanded it down to get the shine off as much as I could. There's still quite a bit, but you know, I tried. And then got a little bit of the paint and kind of smushed it around the white to tone it down a little bit because it was really way too bright. For the look I'm going for and then put some of the paint around here and around here and then I also um, got some sandpaper and sanded that down to give it a more vintage kind of look so that's what I'm going for with the covers so far all right so covers to the mandala and then the cover to the book so that is that so far. Then I took, oh, first of all, over at the Dollar Tree, they have packages of construction paper. There's 36 pieces for a dollar. So I took um, some, of, some from the pack and layered them with my eco prints on top of the file folders. And when I did that, um, some of the colors transposed over under the file folders. Look how cool. Let me show you the one, one thing at a time. <laughs> uh, let me show you the construction paper first. So you can see how cool that is. So what I did is I got uh, one of the file folders, um, put some leaves on top of the file folder, put a color on top then put some leaves and put a different color on top. So those two colors would bleed into each other or hopefully that's what would happen. And then the next I would put file folder and then repeat the same thing. Some of them bled into each other and some didn't. And um, either way though, I really, really like how they came out. So very pleased. But what's odd about it is once everything bled into each other, I'll show you when I get to the file folder, all these colors along with, because I did also put some of the, the, some tea bags in there. So along with the tea and then the colors that bled, it turned the water almost like a really dirty pink color. And you'll see that there on the, uh, on the file folders on the edge. It was very strange. Now these were all done together, obviously, and it's, it's dark on here with the T, but when it comes to the file folders, it turned them pink. Oh, that's why I love this. You never know what's going to happen. So that's that. Now here, you can see I laid the um, construction paper uh, on top of here. Some color of a green. I'm not sure what color. But you see what happened. 
And this must have been a pink one because it really went. The whole thing is pink. But then when you get to these other ones where I obviously didn't put a pink one, look what it did. Now, this got a little bit of the green. This must have been a yellow one. And then on top of it was a green one because I got a stripe here of the green, which is kind of cool. But see all that? Very strange, but fun. That one was either the top or the bottom. I don't remember which. And this, again, it turned... It's weird. Well, no matter what color... Oh, another green one. It's like if it wasn't green, it turned pink. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then there was some leftover pieces I threw in there. And there you go. So this is what I've done so far. And, um, oh, no, that isn't all I did. Oh, dear. Hold on. So with two of the file folders, I held back two file folders. And I had bought red paint, red and black paint for this one. And I didn't like the red, so I mixed some of the black with the red to create more of a color that I was happy with. And so this is a file folder that I painted. I just did it with a credit card. And um, I did, I did, oh, where'd it go? I did two of those, I think. Um, huh, I think I did two. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I did that. And then these were the pages that were inside of this book and that's all I've done in this so far because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going I'm kind of wanting to do obviously a black and white and red so I'm not sure if I have enough stuff to do that with but we shall see so that's what was missed um, in the video that didn't happen so um so you're all caught up and so I'm basically doing this and this, two of these and this um, in this project. And we'll see how far I go and what we end up with. And hopefully next time I will press the record button instead of taking a photograph. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next. <laughs>